Avaris is a concept where we try and combine environmental remediation with also biofuel production. We look at degraded landscapes, especially from the mining industry with heavy metal contamination, and we look for algae that can already grow there. We're interested in using algae to remove metals from waste, the mine waste in particular, but also be interested in industrial waste. Uh, and algae grow on these waste materials, and one way or the other they manage to scoop the metals uh, out of the material. If you were to look around, it doesn't look like there's very much going on. It looks pretty barren and, and pretty sterile. So if you were to take some of this material here and look at it under the microscope, it would be teeming with life. The very first idea was funded through um, a GW4 initiator grant. So that basically got us round a table with people from Bath, Bristol, Cardiff and, and PML. We began to develop the, the central concept, the central flow sheet of the Avarice process. What we're really looking at or looking for are ways to remediate the acid mine drainage as cheaply as possible. The Avarice project is really great because it tackles a few issues. Contaminated water supply is a huge issue which affects millions of people around the world and acid mine drainage is one of the biggest polluters of water. We went down to the Wheel Jane site and the area around the Wheel Jane and we took samples from sediments from different waters from puddles, we took it back to the lab and then we gave them some time to grow. We were very, very happy to find that um, in a few of our flasks we had some green, which was a good sign. After putting them under the microscope, we did in fact have a few different species of algae and other organisms. We grow the algae on this uh, mine waste, and it absorbs the metals, and then we'll heat it up to very high temperatures, normally about 350 degrees, and high pressures. We found that almost entirely, uh, irrespective of how much metal there was, they ended up in a solid residue. The biomass that you produce in the end that, that can be used for biocrude, so they can be refined into oil, so the oils can be used on site to power pumps and, and other equipment. The uh, solid phase, which contains the metals, can be sold on to uh, different companies interested in the different metals you can isolate so there will be a cost uh, contribution towards the project. We really think there's potential to, to apply it uh, not just throughout the UK but, but throughout the world. So just being able to work together with all these different people and taking the concept forwards is really quite rewarding. Being part of GW4 is fantastic because you can never as one academic tackle these problems alone. You could never go all the way through from the remediation all the way through to making products. Uh, we can actually look at regional problems. We're all in the same location so we can meet up regularly share results and uh, plan new projects off the back of it.